me, the word Oriental sounds very ancient, like a history, isn't it? He sounded like uh, he sold me in an antique shop, right? <laughs> My name's Yuriko, and I am from Japan. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, so yes, uh, the autumn is coming. Uh, so I really enjoyed uh, summer in Britain. So I went to comedy shows or music festivals, or uh, uh, when it was really hot in July, I went to Tesco, <laughs> the fridge area. Uh, because there's no air going in my flat. Uh, <laughs> so yes, I, I've been living in the UK for, oh my God, 18 years, 18 years now. <laughs> but thank you very much, thank you, thank you. And uh, yes, so a long time ago, so I used to work for one company in Japan and I almost got depression because I had to work with horrible people for 26 hours seven. <laughs> Long hours. <laughs> but I couldn't leave the job because I didn't want to be called a quitter. And I was so loyal to the people, even though they were wankers. <laughs> <laughs> but one day I realized it's the time to leave. So I told my boss, Mom. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to leave the job. And she was like, F off. <laughs> so I'm so happy to, uh, to be back at the live comedy shows. So last year in June, I was uh, back at one of the comedy nights. And uh, I was a bit rusty, not on stage, off stage, I explain. So I was chatting to one of the audience, and then he said this. Uh, I don't know if I can tell you this, but an uh, oriental person like yourself doing stand-up. You must be very brave. <laughs> so, you know, in my past, I've been told, you're so brave and stuff. And the probably other comedians have been told as well. But his sentence stuck in my head because to me, brave people are <laughs> jumping to the fire to rescue a baby from a building. <laughs> or some of <laughs> jumping to the river to save someone who is drowning. Or some of <laughs> jumping to the conclusion that it's okay to call a person oriental in 2020. Why is that? <laughs> so brave because... Thank you, because he was right my face, because I could stop him. <laughs> when my wig did come back, right, with, wor with words, not actual, you know. But I couldn't, because I was so rusty, and I got annoyed at myself. So to me, the word Oriental sounds very ancient, like a history, isn't it? He sounded like uh, he sold me in an antique shop, right? <laughs> And then he kept asking me, so what do you do? And I said, uh, I, I do this. And he's like, no, 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 do means like a work. What did you do for work? And I was like, uh, do work this. And he's like, no, 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 do work like a job. What did you do for a job? So whatever I say, he just doesn't believe me, right? So maybe I should have said, uh, uh, d this is just a p promotional work. And actually, I'm a merchant. So after the show, I'm selling opium. <laughs> I got a uh, good, good, uh, good to everybody. Um. <laughs> and then two months later, I was in Scotland. And I was walking on the street and I saw a beautiful shop. And it started in 19th century, 19th century, right? And they were selling crystals and magical stuff. And I love it. So I went in and I bought this ring, everybody. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you. And the shop assistant said, this means something. And I was like, why does this mean? And he said, this means protection from negativity. So I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so the next time when I see the guy who called me Oriental, I'm gonna say, but back off you Western man. <laughs> or or uh, f off you You've been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. I'll be Eureka for See you again soon.